Are we recording? Yeah, everything's recording. Costco Pizza Gaming. <laughs> so is that just, are you just going to have a different food every time we start? <laughs> yes. Okay, but everything's capping, so yeah. What? Everything's capping. What does that mean? Capturing. Oh, that's stupid. Capping. We're capping like audio, we're capping video. Kappa. I shouldn't have my glasses on. The TV is too far away. You're right about that. All right. Be proud of your death count. The more you die, the more you're learning. Keep going. I am very proud. I think... Did I get a 69 last time? Something like that. Okay, that's dash. All right. We're back at it again. That means this time you have to die 420 times. Wait, what if there's a... What if they're hiding something from me here? <laughs> we all know that birds aren't real. <laughs> birds aren't... Oh. If you catch them. So I'm guessing I you... don't want to touch that. You can try it out. I don't want to. Find them, coward. You'll never get the bonus. <laughs> of what? Dying? <laughs> Maybe. How do I get up there? It's very clear they want me up there. I can tell. Because they're hiding something from me. I don't think they are. That is very clearly an obstacle. So, you know when you, uh... When you're just jamming out, having a good time with your pals, your bros, uh, all your friends, and you're you just like... You might hear me chewing. I don't know, do you want me to check? <laughs> no, it's fine. We can have ASMR. Oh, wait. Look, I'm, now I'm worried. Hold on. Chew for me. That's what I'm doing. Nah, man, we're good. All right. Turn it up. If you can, <laughs> <laughs> if you can hear Kyler chewing, uh, leave a like in the comments. <laughs> if you can hear Kyler chewing, just like, comment, and subscribe about how he chews. I've actually heard that I chew really disgustingly. Yeah. You kind of do. Like how, though? What, what's the difference? What's the difference? What do you yeah. mean? Yeah. In how I chew compared to other people. Well. Most people, when they chew, you know, they, like, actually make an effort to kind of, I would say, use their mouth. Okay. You just kind of mash your jaws together, mash and gnash until it is done. My mouth is a monkey wrench. And the food, my, uh, nut and bolt. I. Well, you know what? That's analogy. fair. My, uh, my mouth is a hammer, my food, the nail. <laughs> <laughs> my mouth is a two by four, and my food, the nail I put in it. Wait. <laughs> That's weird. I don't like that one. Let's see. My uh, food is a sword. My mouth, the sheath. Oh, I like it. I don't like that one either because the sword's in there for a while. Like, and you take the sword out. So, mom. like, unless you're yeah, crap. a bird mom, a mom to some birds, and you chew up food for them, right? Uh-huh. Then that analogy doesn't make sense either. I think it'd be something like, uh, my mouth is one of those machines that you see on the internet that grinds up couches. <laughs> <laughs> My Go mouth. ahead and guess what the food is. Is it the couch? It's a couch. My food's a couch. I'm eating a couch. Mm. Got it. So yeah, that's true. I don't really have any grace in the way that I eat. I just kind of go for it. You know? Just, just the way God intended. Exactly. Just put the food in there and just nish nosh nash. Okay, so like this area makes me slightly uncomfortable. Please ring for service. 
this service gonna kill me? Oh, guess so. Okay, man. Wait, something, something different. Kyle, you wanna do something with your mouth full of pizza? Um, Edgar, may I help you? <laughs> A ghost? Don't be silly. I'm the concierge of this fine establishment. Welcome to the world-renowned Celestial Resort Hotel. Mr. O'Shea. <laughs> At your service. Can you guess in one day? Business is finally picking up. How long will you be staying with us? Oh, I'm just passing through. I'm climbing the mountain. Do you have a back exit? A back exit? Just passing through? This will not do. You know, I can still hear you, right? <laughs> <laughs> In any case, our rest service door is reserved for hotel staff only. However, our top floor presidential suite features a world-class view of the peak. Yes, you'll be quite comfortable up there. Maybe I can get on the roof from there and climb down the back? The presidential suite. Marvelous idea, old Shiro. What is your name for our record? Madeline! 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 Or maybe it's Madeline. Or maybe it's Madeline. But then again, I'm not real. I'm really not interested in staying. Right in this way, Mrs. Madeline. Oh, that was the last bite of my pizza. Appears to be a very old and dusty guest book. Many of the pages are damaged or missing. The comments, however, are glowing. We'll never forget our time here. I've never felt more at peace. Thank you. <laughs> what happens if I ring this again? Try it. Oh, you're doing it. <laughs> Another guy shows up. He's like, hello. <laughs> hello, welcome to my hotel. <laughs> By ringing the bell... You have passed over the... What are you doing? I'm checking our time. I can't see it from over here. Let me adjust this. Uh, uh, yeah, we're professionals. We're very professional. <laughs> oh my gosh. What did you... I just heard your bones crack. <laughs> that was just my bones. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I would assume and hope that it's only your bones. Um, so... Oh yeah, those were my teeth. Now I'm curious, who put this in the hotel? Oh. It was you. You rang the doorbell. These are uh these are the other hotel members waiting to serve you. It's just this seems like a really bad case of, you know, like uh dust bunnies. I think people need to get the cleaning staff on this or something. Yeah, and floating um uh ah. books. Uh books, it's just uh this place doesn't really seem up to co oh code you know health inspector comes in uh sir looks like you've got a case of uh thousands of evil swarming red dust bunnies you're gonna have to fix that we're gonna have to close you down sir it seems uh just like you haven't really cleaned up the place in a while it doesn't seem very safe for uh people to stay here you know it's just uh we gotta think ah crap Sir, I came in and was immediately attacked by a uh, <laughs> flying case of bookshelves. Now, could you please explain this to me? <clears throat> now, sir, I may only be a humble health inspector, but... <laughs> I'm but a lowly health inspector. I'm but a lowly health inspector, but... I don't really think you should have, uh, you know, giant red dust bunny demons floating around in this joint, you hear? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, that was scary. Nice reflexes. Yeah, I'm, I have impeccable reflexes. Can't you tell? <laughs> You're the health inspector. I'm like a cat. Ha. I am health inspector Caddius Ma <laughs> Health inspector Caddius McMadeline. Ah. And you're here to kick some dust bunnies. I'm here to take some names and sleep in bed. I'm all out of bed. Actually, imagine being like, <laughs> imagine being a health inspector in like, in like a fantasy world or a video game world, where like health inspectors are revered as like, like like highly uh, 
professional jobs because like you have to go in and like deal with all the dangerous stuff people lying leave lying around like you go to the lich's place to do some inspection he's like sir it seems that you've got a uh, gelatinous cube running around it's kind of eaten up like everything in the place uh my hand is gone <laughs> my hands are gone I need uh, you're gonna need to compensate somehow for that. I stuck my ah. hand in uh, through the doorway, and it turns out there was a gelatinous cube right there. And long story short, I don't have a hand anymore. I don't That's have tricky. a hand in these matters. Oh, okay. That's neat. Wait, I mean... Now, does it stay crumbled? I don't think so. Oh. It. It's just in case you need to go back for some reason. I guess. In case you're a coward. That looks like it comes down. Mm. Nope. Go. Ah. You almost had it too. Crap. Okay, this is no problem. No problem. No comp. Uh, <laughs> No, uh, no, uh, no problem. No it's just an easy no one problem. two. No It's just the easy. It's the good old, just the easy, the quick, just the one two. Okay. No. no. <gasps> got it. We got it. You try going up there. Try going probably, up. Probably you probably dash into it, break it. No, no. That's it. Oh, but I get to dash into it. I dash into it. That wait. Ha ha. See. What did I tell I knew you? That. I knew that. I knew that. Obviously. I... I mean, I have to get in here some other way, don't I? Uh, yeah. Looks like it. Okay, but I know it exists. I know of his existence, therefore, when it happens, I'll be, uh, more well informed. Crap. Don't worry, I got this. You jump too I, high. I, I, ah! Your I, head <laughs> got eight. <laughs> By evil dust bunnies. Don't worry, I graduated top of my class in rock climbing. <laughs> rock climbing didn't prepare you for this. Yeah, they didn't teach me to <laughs> double dash in rock climbing. <laughs> the new evil ultimate dust bunny rock climbing. Wall climbing. Ha! I didn't know I could grab there. Wooden wall climbing. Wooden wall yeah, climbing. Yeah, it can be real tricksy. Okay, now you just climb up. Okay. I may just be a humble health inspector, but I do love the succulent taste of strawberries. <laughs> Which is why I go out of my way <laughs> to put my life in danger whenever I see one. <laughs> I actually go very mad. You see, I can't resist them. I just cannot resist the taste of strawberries. It's like cocaine to me. Just like the best kind of drug, but not a drug at all. Because it is, in fact, a berry i think what i don't know is that it's filled with sugar a highly addictive substance <laughs> <laughs> yes it turns out the uh, reason for my crippling addiction strawberries the, the strawberries that is, is the sugar within the sugar you see it gives it its addictive property and is why i go into a mad frenzy whenever i see it <laughs> hey um so I don't like the spaghetti walls. It's just worms. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just some worms in the walls. Don't worry about it, health inspector. You've oh, got, I see. Uh, you've got worms in your walls. This is a major problem, you see. you got some, uh, it seems you got some worms in your walls. <laughs> you got a case of worm in your wall. <laughs> you got a case of, uh, worm wall over there. I think you need to get that checked out. Worm wall. Oh, crap. Wormy wall. You got a case of the wormy walls. If you don't get that checked out, uh, I'm gonna have to shut you down. What's this guy problem? Oh man, I don't know. He's just got worms in his walls. <laughs> He's just got some really bad worm wall, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, ew. Ah, crap. I could have made that. This guy got a worm in his wall or something? You, you know, you're really just a big old worm in my wall, you know that, Trevor? <laughs> Trevor? <laughs> Trevor, you're the worm in my wall. Wait, what about what's up there? I want to uh, deal with go him. Go get it. 
Ah. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah. You failed. Can I just... Oh, did I have to, like... Oh. I think you Goku can... Uh... Sudoku. I think I have to do it coming from this angle. Oh, no. Nice job. Thanks. I think I gotta do it from this angle. Dies instantly. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta take a new angle at this. Commit Sudoku. Uh, no, actually. I know I know how you have to do it. I can tell you. Yeah, you could tell me. Or I could figure it out myself. Okay, so how do you do it? Okay, so first of all, die. <laughs> Perish. <laughs> first of all, uh, go jump in a pit full of evil dust bunnies. I uh, know. What do you keep dashing there? Okay. I don't know. All right, get up on that platform. And then get onto the other platform. And then you have to go uh, without dashing. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do the same thing you did without dashing. You can jump from the platform to the wall. There's, there's, it's a tricksy jump, but you can make it. Okay. So like now, yeah. And then from there, you won't be able to make it. You're supposed <laughs> to do it from the uh, wall I left. See. Yeah, you got it. Oh, just gotta get more grip strength. Actually, I should have a food, like a new food, every episode, or not every episode, every like recording session we do. I'll grab a new food. Yeah. How you do it. You're also generally happier when you're eating food, so... That's actually very true. My mood goes up by, like, 100%. Or just when I'm thinking about food that I've recently eaten. Like, right now I'm satiated, because I've eaten pizza. Oh, hey, you want to call this episode here? Next time I'm game. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> okay, goodbye, y'all.